you work and know and care about the intersections of trans issues, immigration issues, um, race, what in that intersection right now of all those issues, how is COVID-19 playing out amongst sex workers? Um, it has been terrible, Mara. I wish I could tell you, um, give you like a, a better um, outcome. It, it has been terrible. Like, you know, when we talk about uh, trans people, specifically, mostly trans women uh, who are Latinas and um, may or may not uh, be uh, undocumented, you know, that, that specific intersection is really, really hard when uh, their job is um, uh, trading sex. Uh, for money or whatever they do trade for uh, uh, because uh, uh, most of these communities either have like ads online or do um, a, a specific like street work and uh, you know um, it, 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 those two things require a, an actual contact in between the sex worker and the client and at this time, uh, uh, those are not things that we are allowed to do or we are uh, safe uh, while doing. So uh, because of that, um, this community has been hit like really, really, really hard. And we see it firsthand. You know, uh, um, I've been working with Colectivo Cultural Transgrediendo, which you may know that, you know, we lost Lorena Borjas. Uh, but the work didn't end with her death, you know, we have to continue taking care of all her girls. And the, the, the requests are go from, I need to pay my phone, to I need to pay my rent, to I need my medication, to uh, I am going bananas, you know, it, it, it's so many, so many requests.